again, I'm glad you could join me and I'm happy and very excited to show you this trick. It is a simple trick. It's a little difficult at first to understand what's happening and how you can make it so, so fast. But once you get the hang of it, boy, you fly through it. I go a little bit slower than I normally do on the video you saw before because I wanted to be able to show you, but we can do it very, very fast. I've done it in less than five seconds. Imagine if you can save five seconds every time, that's, you can't buy that, right? All right, so I wanna show you step-by-step step on how to get the knot done. I'm gonna step a little bit further so that you can see, uh, you can see this. The first thing is the length of your tie. It's very important that you have an appropriate length so that it's not too long or too short. Either one of those two extremes makes you look a little bit uh, less sophisticated or it looks like you did it in haste. And, and you don't want that. You want to look sharp. Even though you're doing it in five, five to ten seconds, you can still look very sharp when uh, the end result can be very, very nice. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have enough length held in order to begin the, the trick. Now, you just position it on your neck and make sure that you extend it so that the tip of the tie touches either the tip or the middle of your belt. So it's not above the belt or below the belt. It's almost hanging right there where the little loops or the little holes of the, of the, of the belt are. So this is how you hold it. So you will be holding the part of the tie that is facing outwards. You're gonna face it towards you, just like this. You see? So you will see the whole design as you're creating the trick is facing you. The second step is for you to grab the narrow part of the tie and you're going to loop it over your hand once. You're gonna loop it again twice. Let me show you again. You're holding the tie at the appropriate length and then you grab the skinny part of the tie or the narrow part of the tie, flip it over your fingers once and twice. Now, this is very important. I'm going to come in close so that you can see. This is what you will be seeing as you're creating the knot. You're going to hold with your index finger and your thumb. You're going to grab everything. All these three layers are going to be grabbed by your hand. Carefully remove the other hand so that you retain this little loop. And now you're going to grip both the wide and narrow parts of the tie like this with your left hand. So again, a recap. Step one, the appropriate length of tie. Step two, you are going to loop twice over your fingers. Step three, you will hold everything with your right hand and remove your left. Okay, so you already have your two loops. You've held it. You're gonna grab the second loop over. You see this? You have a superior loop and one inferior that's underneath. This one, you're gonna drape it around the tie. Make sure that you can see that. This is the one loop that was under here. You separate them and this one, you're going to drape it around the tie. You see that? Now you hold the next loop and you place your hand inside of it like this and you start expanding it. You see how the, you see how it's shaping? On this, I was lucky. It doesn't always happen, but this time, you see, I even created the dimple. I prefer that little dimple in my tie, but look at this. Yes, the knot is gonna be asymmetrical slightly asymmetrical so it's gonna when you when you put it over your neck it's going to uh, have a, an asymmetric look it's a it's a narrow look it's a look that um, that a lot of people prefer but for the sake of expediency and for the trick this is the one loop that I'm teaching you how to do now but I plan on creating and showing you other tricks that you can create other more popular knots in a similar expedient fashion and 
just by signing up to this email. Uh, and, and my promise is that I'm not going to spam you. You're not going to be receiving emails all the time. But whenever I come across things like this or things that might interest a gentleman like you, I'll make sure that you hear about it. And I'm not pushy with my with my messages. It's always going to be a welcome message. So here you have a very convenient and fast way to get your your necktie. All you have to do afterwards is make sure you don't mess the do. <laughs> make sure you don't mess up your hair as you're putting the neck uh, the necktie around your neck. And just like with any other knot, knot, you will hold on to keep the shape of your tie, of your knot. And you're going to pull on the narrow end and you snuggle it up. And then it's just a matter of reshaping your dimple if you want to keep it. Um, you can put your skinny part of the, the narrow part of your tie through the, the holder loop. And then it's just a matter of finishing it off by repositioning your collar the way it's supposed to be. So you can play with it to make sure that it's nice and snug, not strangling you, but it looks very nice. And there you go. Now, you probably will have to re uh, rewind or go to the beginning of this video and watch it over and over again just so that you can get the hang of it. Practice it. Um, it took me perhaps two nights before going to bed practicing for five minutes to really get the hang of it, but it's, it's well worth the investment of time because if you spend 15 minutes for two nights, that's 30 minutes, you will save that in, in less than a month. You've saved that time in learning how to do the trick. So I hope that you like this video. If you like it, make sure that you share the original video with all your friends. Let them know that the Gentleman's Brotherhood is something to, to be a part of. We have a great selection of articles. We'll continue to have a growing selection of videos helping gentlemen like you to, to become the best version possible of yourself. So make sure you don't miss on things that we have. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. What you've learned here now is just a little glimpse at the things to come. And I really hope that you become a part of the Gentleman's Brotherhood because it's really a, a, a worthy group to be, to be a part of. We have many men from around the world, around the country, who really place a value on, on being a gentleman. And it's not just looking nice. The tip that I share with you today is for looking nice. But uh, we will be sharing a lot of things about how to behave properly, how to be a good man, a man of honor. It seems like in today, today's society, morals and virtues seem to be eroding. You see less and less courtesy. Courtesy is not as common as it once was. And, and we want to make sure that we bring that back. One man at a time, we instill in them values that they can pass along to other generations and, and inspire them. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Again, make sure that to stay in touch with us and I'll see you next time here on The Gentleman's Brotherhood.